This is the great Brandon with another Black Desert mobile video. Today we are going to cover fishing. If you stand in or near the water, you'll get the little fishing pool icon in the bottom right. And then that will diamond. When you tap on it, it will switch to the fish swimming in a circle. And when you get a bite or a fish on the pole or whatever you'll see a little like a squid coming down the water or it's like a bobber i guess Ooh. then you have to get it between the green area you got about a minute timer but i've never needed that ever but when you go home I like to store my fish here so you can go to your storage and as you can see I've got all my fish I'm only using 28 out of 85 but see my weight and I've only got 140 spots so you can store your stuff you can store black stones from one character in here and grab it with your main character so that's pretty cool so you see the crystals and black stones i stick in there and grab them up from my main character just anything that you don't want holding me down way in you down man so if you go to select mode grab all of them sadly there's not a select all thing you take them out and there you go you got your fish weighing you down <laughs> I probably shouldn't have that many fish but you know sometimes you feel like maybe you need more fish in the southwest Calfion I'm up here at Gabino Cohen Farms. And I'm fishing right next to one of the guys, Tyrio. He has two quests. And so one of them is to catch perch. So you just accept the quest, give him one of the perches that you've got over any amount of time. You don't have to catch it right then. You just give it to him. That's why I have all my fish saved. But you get silver and experience. Not a whole lot of stuff, but in Lake Kai you also have somebody. He is Gario. He also has two quests. He has a bluegill quest. Give him my bluegill. You get a little bit of contribution experience as well. And he has a better than quest. Sadly, I only have one better than. And there's more than one otter that wants bitterling. So we're not going to be able to complete them all today, but it is what it is. If you go to Bear, you have Zario. He has a day's quest. I don't have any of those. No days for me. And a mudfish quest. And I don't have any mudfish. Very sad. Very sad. <laughs> but we can also go to my favorite place to fish, which is the Bear River downstream 
it is a very pretty place overall. You can go to Barrio here. He has a blue kill quest. Give one of my blue kill. And he has a bleaker quest. Oh, so nice. I have those. <laughs> Alright. So, now if we go over to Creoville, we have Corio. He has two quests. So you can see they're all going to have two quests that have quests. He has a Notchjaw quest, which I don't have. And he has a Gombi Minnow quest. I do actually have a Gombi Minnow, believe it or not. Yeah. Let's get it. Alright, now if we go over to Kaplan, we have Kario, he has a Swiri quest, and I actually have those, and he also has a Sweet Fish quest. And I have some of those too. Very nice, very nice. And he also has this delivery thing. So you can uh, fulfill delivery orders of fish. They give you a decent amount of money. Not too much silver, but a lot more than the quests. <laughs> <laughs> if you go up here we can go to the northern plantation but we're gonna go to Calfion first you gotta go through Calfion anyways to get to the northern plantation just showing you that guy but he all he does is uh, have the Delivery orders. We can give crawfish in the northern plantation to Shiryu and Bitterling, but I don't have either one of those, so. Don't ask me why. I accept them when I know I don't have them. And Neferia, we also have Mario, who actually has these uh, quests to become his friend, the Amnity quest. So you can get stuff from him like that. And then he has the fish delivery. And then he has two orders for fish the Chewy Squid. I'm pretty low on and he has this Cuvier Cuvier sorry Cuvier but I've yet to catch a Cuvier one of these days I'll have a Cuvier one of these days I'll be a contender Up here we got Veria. Veria has Kurio who has fish delivery and then he has a starfish. This is the first city that you're in, so you should know about this guy. This is the guy who teaches you how to fish, so you should know what this guy has. He has a catching goby. And catch a starfish. 
I'm actually surprised I have starfish because I don't really ever fish over in this area. Not since the game first started. And then we have two more places. We got Glish. Which you don't have to go here either because all he has is the fish delivery. But that's your dude for now over here. And Hydell. Hydell is Suryu who has the fish delivery. And two quests. Those quests are for Tease, so you don't have. And Bitter Doom, which I don't have. So I didn't actually need to come over here. Just showing you. So you got seven people who have quests for you. So 14 quests total. And then fish delivery, you have, what is that, like four people, five people, I don't know. But you have two people who only do fish delivery that you don't need to worry about. But actually, if you want to, you can go into your storage and store these as food. So I'm going to do some of that right now because I've been holding on to way too many. You don't need that many. But... I like to hold on to these 10 or 20 so that I can fulfill orders and fulfill my daily quests. But it's quite a bit of food. It's 1300 food for the 65. Maybe why I've never had an issue with uh, running out of food for my workers because you food every time you send your workers to do something and I've heard from people that they can't keep up with the food requirement but I do a lot of fishing so I've never had that issue so I may be being overly cautious by keeping like 20 fish that that there is a daily quest for Better safe than sorry. <laughs> but if you don't want them in your inventory, you can actually put inventory on your horse, which I never do. But I feel like maybe if you were out hunting and you wanted to, like, stay out there and not go home you can put stuff on them so that you can hold uh, more weight but it's really just weight that he's holding the cool thing is that you can retrieve all off of your horse and you can't do that off of your storage you have to select one by one so that is a benefit so if you guys have like something special that you use your horse storage for, let me know because I'm very curious because I've never put anything on my horse before. <laughs> but he has seven spots and 1400 weight so. He could reasonably okay to put stuff on yep so at the end of the day you just put your at the end of fulfilling all the orders I just put all of my fish back on as you can see like you just have to select them individually and I always miss them I have no idea why I always miss them but I always do I don't know why I think it doesn't send them all at this like maybe I'm selecting too many because I swear I selected them all but I still have like more in there 
get, look at the fish still in there. I don't understand that. I swear I selected those fish. <laughs> you also have your life skill level. So you'll get more fish if you get if you uh raise your level. So I'm pro level eight right now. And of course you get some titles. Fishing expert. Crazy fishing enthusiast. Crazed. Sorry. Crazed. Fishing enthusiast. I don't even have Master Fisher. How pathetic am I? How can I be giving you guys this tutorial if I don't even have that Master? Yeah. So, that's about it. The only other thing is that um, you can set the mode if you go into the water or near the water and get your fishing pole out. You can set the black spare mode. So, like, subscribe, tell me what you guys think of these videos. Are they too long? Are they too boring? Auto fishing. Peace.